Hey y'all, hi, look at this, what do you think? I'm feeling excited. I would also say I'm feeling a bit apprehensive. I'm going to be decluttering my collection of lip products today. But more than decluttering, I, I'm going to be doing kind of an organizational project today. There's some stuff mixed in here that's not lip products. And as you can see, everything's all mixed together. The lip glosses and the lipsticks and the lip liners. There's just no organization. And, and when my lip product collection gets like this, I tend to stop using my favorite things because I can't find them and I'm not thinking of them. So I need to let go of some dead weight and I also just need to kind of get back on the horse with using and loving my lip products as they deserve. If this is your first time to my channel, then welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Hannah and I really love beautiful things. I love makeup, but I take it really seriously that I want to use what I have. I don't just want to buy stuff and then kind of forget about it. So I'm always making sure to revisit what I have so that I can remember to use what I love. And if that sounds good to you, I hope that you will subscribe. Now let's go ahead and get into the meat of the video. Okay, this is what we're dealing with, a somewhat intimidating pile. I think the first thing I need to do is to take out everything that's not a lip product. And then I am going to go through and isolate one category from everything else so that I can deal with it all category by category. I'm going to start with lipsticks, proper lipsticks. Okay, I had to zoom out to get everything in frame. And I realized that I said that I was going to be starting with proper lipsticks, but then when I was sorting it out, when I was sorting all of the products out, I realized that I kind of consider anything that has any level of coverage to be a lipstick. It's sort of all in one category for me when it comes to use, practical use, like what I reach for when I'm feeling like I want a certain level of coverage. And the level of coverage, even though there's a variety of coverage here, like the Glossier Vanillic Lips have a pretty light coverage. They, they act like a gloss. The Gucci Lip Wall right here, you know, that's like a sheer, almost balmy level of coverage. Even though there's a variety of levels of coverage here, these are all products that I feel like they're going to add some kind of weight to my lips in terms of balancing out what else is on my face. I just realized something's missing. There, this YSL lipstick was hiding in my blush box. So even though some of these are pretty sheer and some of them are full pigment, some of them are shiny, some of them are matte, I think of all of them as being relatively heavy hitters, especially on my very pale skin, when it comes to adding something to a look. Most of these are gonna be kind of the star of the look if I wear them. That's the way that this category makes sense to me in my head. And so that's why it ended up being such a big category. It's definitely the biggest category of lip product for me. Here's the thing. I didn't say this in the intro, but a huge motivation for me to do this declutter, the main motivation 
is that I'm really, I'm ready to weed out products that have gotten really old. I feel like we just lost like a year and a half really quickly. And so suddenly products that were feeling like I'd, I'd had them for a long time, but they're still definitely good. Some of those products have gotten almost scarily old. And I know that people have different feelings about how long you should keep a makeup product. Brands tend to say that a lipstick or, you know, a lip product is good for six months to a year, sometimes two years, two and a half years. We, many of us, tend to keep products long past that date if they're still in good shape. So if they don't smell funny, if they're performing well. And that's what I tend to do too. If something still seems like it's in good shape, then I'll keep it if I still love it and I'm still using it. But I think that there's something in between that goes on, at least for me. Sometimes when a product gets really old, like four or five years old, which is pretty old for, you know, a bullet lipstick, which is essentially a cream product, or something that's in a tube where you dip a dough and that's pretty old for a product like that. When something gets quite old, even if it hasn't gone off, sometimes I just subconsciously start to avoid it because I think on a subconscious level, I'm always trying to make sure that I don't put anything on my skin that might, you know, have bacteria in it. When something gets really, really old and grody, like on a, on a conscious level, I, I don't want to get rid of it because it's a classic lipstick in my collection. I really, really love it. And it doesn't smell bad and the formula seems like it's fine, but it's so old that I just, I just feel like I'm not inclined to use it because on some level, I'm a little bit wary of it. And, you know, I have a lot of beautiful lipsticks. So the fact that it's really old and the fact that I've got a lot of beautiful lipsticks means that I start subconsciously just like pushing it out of the way and pushing it out of the way, even though my conscious mind has never been able to bring my hands to actually declutter it. So I'm on a mission today to seek out those products, products that I may have loved, may still love, but that if I'm honest with myself, I'm really probably never going to use again simply because they're they're past their prime in a serious way. So to start, I'm going to weed out the products from here that are old, like things I've had since before I started my YouTube channel or things that are from maybe 2019, but I'm mostly talking about 2017 and before. None of this is from 2018 because that was my no buy year. So we're really starting with targeting products that I had before my no buy year, before my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but I think all of them at this point have probably got to go. Okay, here they are. These are seven lip products that I've owned since before my no buy year. This is actually, this is the one that's hurting me the most, even though Tom Ford Wild Ginger is here. This is a NARS lipstick called Catherine. It's such a beautiful formula. It's such a beautiful kind of watermelon coral color. But I have had it for so long and you can see there's kind of like weird stuff on the bullet. And you know, it's not like I didn't get any use out of it. Like I got a decent amount of use out of it. And you know, I'm looking on the bottom of it, on the, the little label on the bottom. It says 12 months. It says it's good for 12 months. And I've had it for five years. And again, it's not my practice to throw a lipstick out as soon as it reaches the 12 month mark. You know, I definitely wouldn't do that. Clearly I haven't been doing that. But I just feel like we're getting to the point where even though I don't want to admit it, probably its age would give me pause before I actually applied it to my lips. So it's sad, but it's time for it to go. NARS Scap, a classic <laughs> lipstick in my collection. I absolutely love this. And this I think I've had for, I don't know, something like six years, maybe even seven years. I bought this back when I was in grad school. It does say on the bottom 24 months. So it's, it's apparently got twice as long of a shelf life. Uh, compared to the audacious lipsticks, but still, you know, I've had it for four times longer than you're supposed to keep it. 
These Dunar's Velvet Lip Pencils are in the shades Pussy Control and Famous Red. I believe I purchased these in 2016. Luckily for me, both of these colors, I mean, for me in this moment, both of these colors, even though they're really special, both of them have something about them that makes me not want to wear them too much. You know, like Pussy Control, it's this sort of lavender color and it's just not the most flattering thing on me. I, I have loved owning this, but I'm not crying to see it go. And Famous Red pulls a little bit cool toned on me. It can, it can really look like pink. Uh, so neither of these got as much use out of them as they would have if they'd been colors that worked better for me. And so, I, you know, I'm not feeling like it, it's the worst pain in my life to see them go. This actually is from 2018, from my no buy year. It was a point perk at Sephora and I, I replaced some skincare or something and, and it came with my order because I was on a replacements only no buy. It's the Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Color in the shade Babe. And my little trial size of this started a, a love affair for me with this product. I really, really like the consistency of it and the finish, the formula, everything. Clearly, I've gotten some good use out of this. I, I've really loved having it. It came into my collection early in 2018. It was probably January or February. And that means that at the end of this year, it'll be four years old. So given that it's a dinky little mini like this, and given that even though I really love it, it's not as though I'm wearing it, you know, every other day or something, I think it's time has come. This is also from 2018, my no buy year, because it was a birthday gift. My sister gave it to me for my birthday in February of 2018. And it's, you know, one of my all-time favorite lip products. It's sad to see it go. It's M Cosmetics Faded Clementine. The Infinite Lip Cloud Formula. Gosh, the smell really brings back memories of my no buy year because this was one of my most worn products that year and beyond. But especially given that it's a wet product with a doe foot applicator, it's definitely too old to keep using. And it says 12 months on the bottom, which means according to M Cosmetics, this expired in February of 2019. I put this in the group, but I actually, this is French nude. I remember my sister gave me French nude for my birthday that year as well. It was like French nude and faded Clementine, but I actually don't think that this is the original French nude because look how much more wear faded Clementine has on it. I think that at some point, M Cosmetics sent me a PR package that had French nude in it, and I replaced my old French nude with this one. So I actually think that this one is newer. And decluttering Faded Clementine is making me miss this formula, and I love this color, French nude, so I think I'm actually going to hang on to this. But I have to deal with Tom Ford Wild Ginger. My parents gave this to me for my birthday in 2016, and it doesn't have an expiration on the bottom, but, you know, it's old. It's really old, it's too old, and I haven't worn it in maybe a year because I'm aware that it's too old. But I feel a sentimental attachment to this, not only because my parents gave it to me, but because it's so luxurious and it's been kind of like an iconic product on my channel for a long time. Like I, I think of it as representing the appreciation of quality over quantity. I think I wanna keep it and not use it, which I I don't do with pretty much anything. But you know, is it okay for, for this to be like my one piece of, of sentimental makeup, like my one thing? I just feel like I'm gonna wanna have it until I'm old kind of, you know what I mean? And, and have it just be like, this was my lipstick when I was young, you know? I, I like, I want this to be that one. So I'm gonna hang on to it basically as a souvenir, a souvenir from my youth. These four products are from 2019, so my budget year, like right after my no-buy year. These are some of the first lipsticks that I acquired after my no-buy year was over. This one came in PR. This is an iconic Givenchy lipstick called Mandarin Bolero. And you know, they might have sent this to me in early 2020, either that or it was late 2019. This isn't something that I acquired like as soon as my no-buy year was over, that's almost three years old or something. I actually think this might be closer to two years old. And I really love the color and the formula. I'm gonna hang on to this. Maybelline Beige Babe, a wonderful 
drugstore lipstick. I really love this lipstick. I've worn it a lot. I bought it, I think, in January of 2019, like as soon as my no-buy year was over. So at the end of this year, it'll be three years old. Up close like this, right now, the color looks just insanely amazing to me. Like, I just... I just love it. It's one of the most perfect colors that I've ever had in makeup. But I know that I'm not really wearing it. It's like, I don't think that it is particularly too old for me right now. Like, I just, it's not like I wouldn't put it on my lips today or something. I just know that I'm not wearing it a lot. And I feel like what's going to happen is that with every day that goes by, with every month that goes by, it's going to become older and older until really quite soon it passes the point where it is a little bit uncomfortably old. And just realistically, I'm, I'm not going to get much, if any, wear out of it between now and when it passes that point. So I feel like uh, I, I feel like I can say goodbye to it. It's been a good run. And if I really miss it, I can replace it. The same exact thing is true of Bobbi Brown Bear. This is something that I bought for myself pretty early in 2019. I don't feel like it's super old, but it is about to be three years old. And again, I haven't been wearing it assiduously, and I just don't know how many more times I'm going to wear it before it passes the point of being kind of uncomfortably old. This one hurts because I bought it for myself with my own money, and it was expensive. It was like $30. And I don't know, this getting rid of old, old things, it's actually, it's a good exercise. It's reminding me that makeup isn't something that lasts forever. It's not the same as like buying some art that you put on your wall or, or buying like a really, even like a really sturdy pair of shoes or like a handbag or something like that. It's not like that. It's a perishable good. And even though this exact product might not be, you know, rotten to the core today, it's going to get there. And because I have so many beautiful products, it's going to get there before I have a chance to use it, before I have a chance to use it up. It really makes me not want to buy more, more products. All right, I just applied this to my lips to see how I felt about it. And here's how I feel about it. I've always loved that it's it's got pigment, but it's also kind of balmy. It's nourishing and moisturizing, but it's also a very beautiful color. I've, also, I've always loved that about this product. Right now, to me, with where I'm at with, with makeup, with lipstick, with what I put on my lips and stuff like that, it doesn't feel as nourishing as I remember. It feels more like a lipstick than a balm. And so I feel like if I want something nourishing, nourishing, I'm going to be wearing something that's actually much more actively moisturizing. And if I want color, I'm going to be going for something like extraordinary, some really exciting color, some of one of these other products that I have here. Gosh, it's weird. I, I feel a little bit like it's premature because I think that if I were just doing a straight declutter where I'm just looking at how much I think I like my stuff, then I wouldn't reach for this necessarily. I wouldn't really feel like it's right to have it on the chopping block, again, because it was expensive and I bought it with my own money. But looking at it from the perspective of age, how long ago I bought it, and how many more wears I think I realistically might get out of it, looking at it from that perspective, I think it makes a lot of sense to just go ahead and, and clear it out and make space, not space for new stuff, but just some breathing room so that I can see what I have. This is a really cool product. It's the uh, L'Oreal Color Reach Shine in the shade Dazzling Doe. And again, you can see I've I've definitely used it. You know, I've messed it around. I really like this sort of like sheer, glossy, cool toned, taupey brown <laughs> color. Um, but I've always found this a little bit difficult to wear because it's kind of sheer and the color is really, really different from my lip color and it's pale. So it can end up I don't know. It provides pretty good coverage, but I always worry a little bit. It's also really shiny and slidey. I worry that it's not totally going to stay put. So I've gotten some good use out of this, but it's definitely like a super wet, glossy product. It's definitely also three years old, and it's an easier decision to clear it out and make some space. Because even though I did buy this for myself with my budget, it was a drugstore lipstick. It wasn't as expensive as the Bobbi Brown one.
Okay, it's a little easier to get everything in frame now because I've let go of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine so far. And the 10th one is the Tom Ford, which I'm keeping, but you know, for emotional reasons. But for all intents and purposes, 10 items have been removed from this, my collection of lipsticks that I own and wear. I don't think any of these is older than like two, two and a half years, even though some of them probably say on them that they expire in 12 months or something. For me, with my comfort level, I feel like all of these are fresh enough to keep using. So now it just remains to go through and see if any of them are, you know, products that I actually don't want to keep. You know, now we've kind of come to the regular declutter part of this process. This is the Glossy Vanillic Lip in the shade Coupe. I actually don't think I ever properly reckoned with this. I think it just kind of sneaked into my, my lipstick collection. I did a whole review of this formula and I really like it. I gave it a positive review. I like the product, but it's really slidey and shiny and a bit messy. I actually kind of like that quality in it for other colors, but if I'm going to wear this incredible bright red, I'm gonna wear it in a more matte formula, one that's a little bit easier to control. So even when I was filming that video, I said I was probably not gonna keep this, and that is correct, I'm not gonna keep it. Okay, this is the TikTok lip tint lip, TikTok cashmere, TikTok tint lip cashmere from I'm Meme. This is a, a product that I got from Yes Style. I really like the delivery mechanism. I like this packaging for a lip product. I loved it in the glossy vanillic lip and I like it in this kind of more matte cashmere formula. But uh, I don't like this brown. I was expecting it to be more neutral, maybe almost a little bit rosy, but when I wear it, it looks very orange. So I'm not gonna keep this one, uh, but I am actually gonna go ahead and keep this other one. My Kinda Coral is what it's called. Do I want to keep this Becca lipstick? It's a beautiful formula, very pigmented though, like almost too pigmented for me and it leans really peachy on me rather than being like a neutral nude. I think this can go. Y'all, I just never wear these. I. <laughs> I love them, but I don't, I, I don't know. It's the, it's the M Cosmetics True Gloss. I love the way they smell and feel. There's just something I love about them. And I love the colors. I love M Cosmetics colors, but I find this difficult to wear for the same reason that I find Glossy Vanilla Clip and Coupe difficult to wear. It's highly pigmented, but very kind of slidey and shiny. I've kept them because I can't bring myself to declutter them because I love everything about them except for that. I think what I'm gonna do is just keep the one that I love the most, which is Caramel Glaze. Although look at that, I said that I wasn't keeping this because it was too orange on me, not rosy enough, but this is much more orange than this. You know, I think that I might just have to let all of them go. I think I'd like the idea of them, but I don't really like them themselves for me. Oh my gosh, that's a real load off. They've been weighing me down. I really want to love them. I really love M Cosmetics. I love their lip products. I love the colors, but I've just, I've had them for a while and I just, every time I try to wear them, I end up wiping it off because it's like too much. I just can't make it work. I think it's partly user error. I know that that kind of formula works really, really well for a lot of people. It's user, user error and user kind of like preference. Okay, everything else can stay. And you know what, y'all? I've been filming for a really long time and I think I'm just gonna end this video here. I, I'm going to declutter my glosses and lip liners together, but in a separate video. So that video will be coming very soon on my channel. It'll be coming right on the heels of this one. So again, if you're not subscribed and you wanna make sure that you see that other video when it goes up, make sure to subscribe. You can even sign up to be notified by ringing the notification bell so that you'll be notified 
notified when I post the next video. Before I say goodbye though, let's revisit the decluttered products and let's see what the numbers are. Okay, so I kept 38 lipsticks. I decluttered 15, and then this one, number 16, is going to like lipstick heaven, or you know, it's going to like live on a farm. <laughs> it's gonna live a better life, live on a farm where it can run around. But I essentially decluttered 16, and I kept, what did I say, 38? So can we say that's roughly a third? I mean, it's maybe not quite a third, but it's, a, it's significant. I think going in and really trying to weed out the things that are quite old, being willing to part with them, even though I feel like I still love them, but being honest with myself about the fact that they're too old, it's done a, a couple of things for me. One, it's, you know, it's helped me really whittle down my collection of lipsticks, which is going to be great going forward. I'll, I'll be able to see what I have and, and use what I have better. But it also made me sharply aware that these products are all expiring. <laughs> They're expiring even as we speak. And in just six months to a year, some of these ones that I kept are going to be as old as some of these ones that I just decluttered because I felt like they were too old. So it's another very strong bit of motivation to be proud proactive about using these products that I have and love. I am really glad I did this and I'm looking forward to going ahead and filming the next part, the, the gloss and lip liner part. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it too. And I really hope you're remembering to take extra good care of yourself so that you can be the most effective version of yourself as you do your work in the world. Thank you.